with England's recent series of feats against the West Indies, an issue that's come to light once again has been the inability of England's batsmen to adjust when playing on wickets offering variable bounce and lateral movement. This inability has led to numerous batting collapses for the English cricket side over the past 18 months. Now much has been spoken about the reason for this, but let's recap on it quickly. Their batsmen are playing with hard hands out in front of themselves. This is causing them to square up and to lose their shape. Now, if you're going to do this on a wicket that is offering variable bounce and lateral movement, you're going to be exposed, and you're going to be exposed badly as England have been. Now, everybody's talking about the problem, showing highlight reels of what the English batsmen are doing, but the million pound question is, what is the solution to their problem, and can they learn this skill quickly? To answer those questions, how quickly can these skills be developed? These skills can be developed in 20 to 25 hours of individual work with me, where I coach batsmen to play the line, hold their shape and play the ball late so they can score runs and win matches on wickets offering variable bounce and lateral movement, eliminating self-doubt and humiliating batting performances. The setup and mindset that I coach has enabled the players that I work with to score 18 hundreds over a 20 week period in the toughest batting conditions in the world. I'm now going to share some footage of you of 17 year old Alex Oxley who I've worked with over the past four years. He has recently been selected into the Warwickshire County Cricket Club Academy. Now, the things to look out for in this video. First of all, I'm throwing to him with a pink sidearm from 14 and a half meters, pretty much as hard as I can throw. So his reaction time is incredibly small. He's playing on a wicket that is offering variable bounce and lateral movement. Now the things to take note of are, one, the angle of his body into his front foot and back foot shots, and the steepness of the bat coming into the ball. This allows him to play the ball late. He's playing the ball down into the ground. It's bouncing close to him, and he's able to defend with soft hands. This also allows him to play the line of the ball so that when it deviates, he's not chasing the ball and he's not pushing out at the ball like the England batsmen are. And the other thing to take note of, which is really, really important here, when he does nick the ball, all of the edges have not carried to the wicketkeeper all the slips. This is a result of the angle of his body and the angle of his bat coming into the ball with soft hands. Now, this is a byproduct of my simple batting approach and it can be learned in a short space of time. Great shot. The bat sounds young. That bat's done, isn't it? <laughs> taking the time to watch this video I hope you found it informative and helpful if you'd like to find out more about my simple batting approach you can get in touch with me send me a message through LinkedIn or pop me an email and I'll be happy to share some more information with you